Hey everyone, this is Crystal with Navajo Now. I'm back with the little tutorial on um, downloading and installing the Navajo keyboard. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, go ahead and open up the browser of your choice. I'm going to stick with Google Chrome. And up in the address bar, you're wanting to go to languagegeek.com. Hit enter. You're going to come to a page that looks like this. So a green, white, and blue page. Click on Languages. And Navajo should be listed under Athabascan. It's also highlighted as Denebizad here. Click that. There's a little more information here about consonants and vowels. Some of you already know this. Uh, go ahead and click on Text. Well, sorry. Keyboard Layouts right here. Okay, now there are a lot of uh, links on here that show installation instructions and how they work. You can go back to those later. I don't think you're going to need it after this. Uh, click on American Southwest. It'll just bring you down the page to where it's located. Okay, so a couple things here. So you have a Mac and Windows download and then you have instructions for both. And it looks like uh, Apache is grouped up with Navajo for Southwest. Um, but there's one thing I wanted to show you here. Click on Key Map. Uh, and it's going to open up a PDF here. And this shows you exactly how the uh, Denebazad slash Navajo keyboard is set up. And what you got here is basically the same layout that we have for an English keyboard. Uh, there are a few exceptions, obviously, to use um, and make um, Navajo accented letters. So uh, there are a few here. I'll show you the most common first and then the ones that I don't really use. So the most common, I think, is that just the accented vowels. And that is coupled with a question mark key down here. And then you have the nasalized one up here, which is in the quotations. Well, you can make quotations with those. It, that's not like on our English on our English keyboard. This is actually a left bracket for the nasal eyes and then a combination of the accent and nasal tone on the right bracket. You have two others on here that are not going to be used as often. You have up in the top left an accented vowel mark and to be honest, I don't know the difference between this at the top left and this one at the right. I believe they're the same. I guess it depends on uh, preference, which you want to use. Personally, I always use this one. I've um, used a Spanish keyboard, and more or less, they kind of use the same layout here on the right side. So I don't, I don't ever use those. So you probably won't have to remember that. The other one is this. Uh, Spanish N Y uh, N letter, and we don't get to use that a lot in Navajo, um, but it looks like you might need to shift and use that. But again, I don't think you'll have to worry about using that in the future. Um, it gives you a little information down here as to how to use all these accents. So if you get in a get stuck. You can go ahead and download this. If you're in a school, you could probably print this out and leave this by the computer so the students can remember how to use it. Okay, so that's for your reference to come back to. Okay, so now to install the keyboard, we want to go to Windows Download. I've got Windows here. And it's going to open up down here. So I'll open that up. It's going to open right to the file. Um, but I'm just going to go back to the download folder, right click and extract all so I don't have any issues later. Extract, it's going to open that up. Double click on Navajo and then double click on the setup application icon here. It'll ask for a security warning and then I'll probably give you some kind of other warning too. Okay, so, so run that. I can close this actually while I'm waiting. It's gonna give, okay, I'm waiting on my security thing for my computer. Okay, so clear security. 
and then we'll just wait a couple seconds. Other than that, there's no indication that it's actually installing. Oh, and now it's complete. So be sure to check your little taskbar to see if it's done. So installation complete. Nothing more to do. Close that. Okay, so I want to actually test this. So let's open up. I'm going to open up a text file. Okay, so. Okay, to actually uh, enable the keyboard, Navajo keyboard, what you need to do. Uh, after the installation is done, you should see a little, there should be EN for English United States, and you see a little keyboard right beside it. So right now it's on US. You want to click that, and you see that Denebazod comes up. So select Denebazod, click in the program. Now I'm going to make, this is in regular A, right? So to make an accent today, you just push A, and then the question mark, or the... Uh, slash at the bottom right. You don't need to push any kind of shift key or anything. It, there's no trick to it. So, so A slash A slash A slash. Okay, then the nasalized A uh, left bracket, left bracket, left bracket, left bracket. Okay, then the combination of the two, so right bracket. Right bracket, right bracket, right bracket. Now all of these are different sizes from a regular from a regular letter in Notepad for some reason. It's just how it's shown, but let me show you in Google. It's just more plain old Google. Okay, so let's search for Denebazod. So D I N, and make an E, and we hit that slash button. You see, it's not working there. So, what happens in between programs is that it doesn't keep that keyboard there. So, if you go back down, it says US again. So, switch back to Denebazod keyboard and then click out of that. D I N, hit the E there, slash. Now we got it. Bizod. There you go. Then you can search with all the accents. So you see, this is this, this uh, accented E is the same height as the E there. It won't be a notepad for some reason. I can't explain why. But if you copy and paste these into, let's say up here it's going to turn out just fine. So, not really a problem. But yeah, but that's how everything works with the Navajo keyboard. We've just installed it from Language Geek. I'll put the uh, HTML URL address in the comments below. Uh, but be sure to um, make sure you go through those steps and make sure don't forget that they have the keyboard down at the bottom. But yeah, but I hope you have a nice day. I'm Crystal with Navajo Now.